So just dropping some plants off. This time of year is real crazy busy. We grow a whole bunch of seedlings and we sell or give them away to get people growing. Because if we didn't do this, there wouldn't be too many people coming to the carnival. So these ones are a little bit lanky, but they are um, coming along for a car ride. Here we go. Hopefully this is in focus. Uh, super busy today. Have to pop the seeds. They've popped. They're in the growth thing behind me. Um, so yeah, that's good. I uh, wasn't really expecting them not to grow. So here we go. I just used an aquarium light. It's probably not the best light, but it's better than nothing. Uh, it does a lot of light. Pretty good. Something I have to keep an eye on is as soon as they pop up, kill the heat. I uh, got that tip from Tim. Basically, if you keep the heat there, they'll keep growing super fast and get real leggy. And you don't want leggy plants. You want nice, short, stocky ones, and then it's time to get them outside. So these are the first three. See how they go. So this week's been, oh, the last two weeks actually, it's been real busy. Um, we do a lot of publicity, we try and do a publicity to get people interested in growing giant pumpkins or miniature pumpkins or just something to come along to the carnival. Now, lots, you don't need to have grown to enter something, but it is fun to get people growing, especially first time growers. And when you get those first couple of people hooked, they're really excited about it. We had the Wiz Scarecrow, which Gareth built, and we took that to the Riff Raff statue. What are we up to, Gareth? Well, we just finished a photo shoot uh, with the Hamilton Press. Uh, went really well, um, and Wizzy did an outstanding job. Yep, he, um, look at him, he's pretty uh, good there. If you're wondering, that's Riff Raff. He has Wi-Fi in him. Grace, what's happening? Nothing. Was that good? Yeah. And uh, then we had another promo with the radio station. Uh, I had to put the whiz together myself, so that was interesting. Currently waiting for the radio station to turn up so we can do a bit of promo. We've got the whiz, which is a scarecrow Gareth oh, made. Okay. We've got the A-team here. Oh, Checking out the uh, kitchen gardens here at Hamilton Gardens. And I caught up with Gareth and Grace at their house. Now they grow tons of stuff, and I couldn't remember all of it, but if you check out Growing Them Big in New Zealand with Grace, uh, Facebook page you can see everything that Grace is up to and they've got a planting plan so which is great um, but I'm going to quickly run through everything hopefully everything that they're growing South African gem squash uh, Weeby Little Jack Littles Gourmet Lettuce you've got cheddar, cheddar cauliflower baby beetroot tomato winter grape tomato black crim tomatoes tomatoes nature's riddle more tomatoes lots of tomatoes uh, window box red tomatoes Paddy Green Courgettes, Blueberry Tomatoes, I don't know what those are, they're interesting. Uh, Monster Yellow Peppers, Tasty Green Cucumbers, Telegraph, Early Perfection Cucumbers. Some more Belittle, Sweet Lightning, don't know what that is. Uh, spinach, I don't know what that is. Amber Max, Sunlight, Baby Nut Squash, Giant Croc Neck Squash, Snack Seed Pumpkin, uh, more Amber Max Pumpkins, Goosebumps, Sunflowers. Snowball pumpkins, giant pear gourd, giant marrows, long neck gourd, mixed sunflowers, scarface, streaky, and then there's a whole mix of other things. Oh, giant radish is going in, so that'd be cool. Orange cutie pumpkins, Annabelle, gray pumpkin, devil skin pumpkin, vanilla ice fantasia and lemon sorbet sunflowers, incredible dwarf sunflower, lavender, three teddy bear sunflower plants, the Teo Japanese Sunflower, lots of sunflowers this year. Uh, watered Pumpkins, Big Loretta, some unknown self cedars, a message on my phone, Winter Grape Tomato, Sovereign, uh, Raspberry Bush, Sunflower Seeds, more mixed to them. Tomato White Beauty, Tomato Black Crim, Giant Yellow Pepper, Blue Green Wagner Tomato. Yeah, there we go. So I think I've covered everything, but uh, I'm sure there's gonna be more. So I'll cover what Grace is up to and Gareth later on in the season, so make sure to keep an eye out for that. But something they do have, they've just got another box of bees. Now, bees are great, they pollinate everything in the garden, and without bees, I think the world would be in a lot of trouble. So, there's a great company called Zonda Beneficial in Waiuku. Now you get a box of bumblebees, and they can live in there, and you let them out with the little hatch, and uh, has its own queen in there. It's all very cool. This year I'm growing a lot of things and to help me I have the bees. 
I, I heard that this year you're growing a giant pumpkin yourself. Yeah, well, I thought I'd give it a go. I've got a, a nice uh, plant. The seed came from uh, Vermont from Steve Miner. So, uh, yeah, going to give it a crack. Awesome stuff. So yesterday was the Scarecrow Festival. It was really good, actually. I didn't go to last year, and I've been before... I think the times I've been, we were sort of miles away from the actual festival, so I never saw it. But it was really good, sold a lot of pumpkin seedlings, and still got a lot more to get rid of. But uh, check out the short video that I made of the day. One, two, three, four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember to subscribe, check it out below, leave a comment if you want, it's always great to hear from people. Uh, I got hold of seven different retirement homes today, so I've got to deliver pumpkin seedlings everywhere. So that's about it for this vlog episode. The next one will probably be me delivering pumpkin seedlings all over the place and hopefully getting my seedlings into the ground, into the world's smallest giant pumpkin patch and get growing because man really want to get the plant going and see what can happen okay until next time